obviously now it's official, you and Amir Khan will be fighting April 20th. Location isn't confirmed yet, but I'm going to get straight into it. A lot of people suggesting, especially in the UK, that Amir Khan's past his best. Do you feel you're fighting the best Amir Khan? Uh, we have to see. You know, I'm not looking over Amir Khan. I feel like he's going to be up for this fight because he got everything in the game. He's going to train tremendously uh, hard and he's going to give it his all come fight night. And that's going to make for a great fight. Now, Amir Khan's one of the biggest names in UK boxing. Do you feel this is sort of a marquee fight for you, a fight that propels you, your name? Of course, of course. Uh, I feel like, you know, putting him on my resume will lead to bigger fights down the future. Um, yeah. Okay, let's take our minds back to your last fight against Benavidez. Uh, spectacular knockout uh, late on. Your reflections from that fight? Uh, it was a good fight. Uh, Benavidez was a, a tall, long, rangy counterpuncher. Uh, pretty fast. Uh, fighter that, that was confident, that came in there trying to dethrone me, and we got the job done. Mm. Obviously at the weigh-in with Benavidez, it got a bit heated. Yeah. You and Amir were very respectful today, but do you think in fight week it might get a bit spicy between you two? It might. I'm not, I'm not over uh, looking it. It might. We shall see. Okay. Okay. Obviously Amir has been linked with uh, the Kel Brook fight for ages, and there was a lot of talk about him fighting Kel potentially at this time. Um, what do you make of that whole situation and, and what do you make of Amir choosing to fight you instead of Kel? I feel like he's fighting a more meaningful fight with me other than Kel Brook. I feel like Kel Brook and him is just a rivalry fight with me. You know, he's fighting for a world title. He's fighting for a uh, pound for pound uh, potential rankings that will lead him to be labeled as one of the top fighters in the world. So he's fighting for a lot with fighting for me, but with uh, Kel Brook, he's just fighting for a rivalry cause. Do you respect him for that? I respect him for that. Okay. Now your promoter, Bob Arum, obviously got you and, and Lomachenko, two pound for pound stars. Do you believe you're pound for pound number one ahead of Lomachenko? Of course. What makes you say that? Because of the fights that I've been in. Mm -hmm. you know, if you look at the fighters I didn't fought and what I've done in the sport of boxing, uh, you can't argue with argue with you know a lot of people uh, rate Lomachenko uh, number one because they like his style and don't get me wrong he's a tremendous talent you know I like him I watch him I support him but I just feel like I'm number one mm. across all the weights you fought at do you believe beating Amir Khan would be your biggest win uh, of course one of them okay one of them. okay now on the stage uh, Bob Arum compared you to Sugar Ray Leonard how does it feel to be compared to one of the greatest of all time? Uh, it feels good, you know, it just let me know that uh, the, uh, how I want to say it, it just let me know that he believes in me a lot and that, you know, he got a lot of faith in me. Okay, Terence Crawford, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Just lastly, a prediction for your fight uh, when you and Amir get in the ring. A victory. Stoppage? However it comes.